Hello everybody, my name is Soulberry and welcome back to another video. As many of you may or may not know, on this channel I only do the most original video ideas that I can possibly think of. And what's more original than answering Q&A tags found on the internet? As you can tell by the title of this video, we will be doing a small YouTuber tag. Now, I don't really like the sound of a small YouTuber because no matter what, regardless of how many people I have watching my videos, how many people subscribe, I love every single one of you. The fact that somebody, like one person, watches my video is ridiculous. So number one to start this Q&A tag off is what inspired you to make videos? Thinking about it now, the one reason I started making videos, and this is where like I started making review videos, was because I couldn't find reviews for those items myself. Many of the items that I was looking for reviews on when I was a beginner Lolita, I could not find, so I made it my mission to make these videos, to buy these items and review them, and give really clear reviews so that beginners like what I was can find good information and it's clear. Number two up is how long have you been on YouTube and have you had other channels? Um, I believe I uploaded my first video on this channel in May of last year. I think that's right, it might be two years ago, not too sure. I don't have any other channels that actually produce content, but I do have one other account that I pretty much have all my like random stuff on, so like music or videos that I like, that's for that. Number three, where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years? I really hate questions like these where it's like, where do you find yourself in blah 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 years? You never know, life is always changing and random stuff happens, it can always change. So to answer a question like this is really difficult for me. If I were to say anything about this channel, I would hope for in the future that any beginners with Lolita Fashion or even any cosplayers who are looking for reviews still get something from these reviews. They may end up being outdated, but some information I would say is better than nothing. Now if I really wanted to get ambitious, I would like to see this channel and this community that we've established grow a bit more. Not for my own personal gain or anything like that, like this channel is seriously just for fun and to help others out, but if this community were to grow I would be so happy because we would be able to all come together and learn some new information and have some good times and that's, that's what I'm always searching for in life. What message are you trying to get across with your videos? I've already said this plenty of times, but a lot of my earlier videos was to get clear information about, out about items and reviews. Nowadays, I'm starting to get more content going because I have a little bit more time and a little bit more imagination, and I'm a little more comfortable in front of the camera. So with these videos, it's not really a message I'm putting out, but more so to get to know people who are watching my videos and I want to interact with you. and. Just to let you guys know about who I am, I guess? Alright, so this question is actually number five. I goofed on the last one. Do your friends from school find you on YouTube? Now, I had some people in the local community here for Lilia Fashion actually find my channel and then I meet them at a meet and they're like, oh my god, that's you! Like, I'm actually subscribed to you and I'm like, no way. Like. Small world, ridiculous. But from school, I haven't had anybody more so come up to me and find me because a lot of the people, at least in my program specifically, because I am in college, they are not really into that sort of stuff that I do on this channel. So the only people from my classes that know about it are my very close friends. And a lot of them don't really watch my videos, they just know that I do this. Number six. What does your username mean? I've actually never talked about this really before. So when I started this channel, I knew I really wanted to focus on Lolita fashion items and stuff like that. So 
the word cute was a big thing, and as many of us know, uh, cute in Japanese is kawaii. So I sort of just wanted to tie something cute and fun into it. And then as I sort of started thinking more about the image of my channel, it grew into like how I wanted everybody to partake in this like grand scheme of things. How I wanted to almost have like a party or a parade, so the word parezo, which I had known from a tea at the place that I used to work at, was really fitting, so I took the word parezo as like a parade or a party, so cute parade or cute party kawaii parezo. And that is the birth of this beautiful channel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm gonna add in some bonus questions just because I feel like it and I don't want this video to be too short. Is there any moment specifically that sticks out to you as a YouTuber? I don't know if I asked that question right, but pretty much the thing that really blew me away recently was I had a viewer um, comment on one of my videos and they later became a subscriber, so they're not subscribed to me, but they commented on one of my videos and they were curious what conventions I went to and then, and this, this seriously blew me away, they would hope that someday they could meet me in person. And that is crazy. Like, I never in a million years thought a stranger, a complete stranger, who watched my videos would want to meet me, of all people. Like. I don't know, I guess I'm sort of interesting, but I don't really hold myself like at a standard like that because I'm just a person, I'm just here having some fun. So that was probably my best moment so far as a YouTuber, a small successful YouTuber, whatever you want to call it. Now the last question of this tag is to name your favorite small YouTuber. And again, I hate putting a number to the type of YouTuber you are. Like, just because you have very few subscribers doesn't mean you're not successful. The subscriber count that I have right now, I am happy with that. Like, if I stayed at that for the rest of my life and this channel's life, I'd be okay with that because I love every single person who watches my videos. The fact that somebody watches them is incredible. But to see the number grow would be even incredibler because even more people are watching my videos. So on that note, I can't really choose a small YouTuber. But at the moment, my one of my favorite YouTubers right now is uh, Mango Sirene. She's pretty popular like on the internet, on Tumblr and uh, YouTube and in the cosplay community. I just, I love the quality and the content of her videos and She's definitely worth checking out, like, A+, plus, like, I recommend check her out because she's inspired me to continue doing cosplay along with Lolita Fashion, so it's, yeah, I like her. She's pretty cool. And that is the end of this YouTuber Q&A tag video, whatever you want to call it. I know, super original, right? On that note, please feel free to leave a like down below and a comment, or please leave a question down below and I will answer it in another Q&A video if enough people ask questions. Or else I'm going to have to search the internet for more Q&A tags, because, you know, those are really fun and really original. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I really appreciate anybody watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Keep it kawaii, everybody. Bye.